YouTubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. And today, hey guys, we're going to be looking at yet another Swedish beer, as you probably already knew. <laughs> um, this is going to be another beer from Dygges. This is their Johanna Spesta Best Bitter, which is a best bitter, or British style bitter. Just in a different sweet way, that it's because it's brewed with uh, American hops. It's brewed with Centennial and Cascade hops. It's on 4.6%. And uh, yeah, it should be interesting. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot like uh, some of the other beers I had from uh, Sweden that's just been brewed towards an English style but with American hops. And I guess that's kind of, from having these different Swedish beers, I'm guessing that's kind of the general thing, difference between the Danish and Swedish craft beer scene. That the Danish, well, depending on what brewer you go to, of course, but is mostly inspired by uh, more extreme uh, countries of brewing like America, for example, the, with a brewery like McKellar, and they have a kind of a different strategies in brewing. For example, like beer here too, want, he, Christian wants to make beers with a lot of flavor but on low ABVs, session beers. Well, as the, uh, so far from what I've had from Sweden, it seems like they're m m very much inspired by the English craft beer scene um, by, uh, by having these rather uh, I wouldn't say rather, but some of these milder ales and then tweaking them a little by putting a little bit of American hops in and all. But so far they've been solid beers, all of them. Uh, not anything that has been like mind-blowing except a few that was pretty good, but yeah. Looking forward to trying this on. So yeah, this was also sent for, to me from Johan uh, in Sweden, so thanks a lot for the beer, man. Let's get it cracked open. Pour it into the glass. Perfect. There it is, filled to the brim. This kind of looks like a brown ale in color. This is a pretty dark bitter. It's a, like a dark orange kind of color with some brown hues to it. It is rather hazy. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's bottle conditioned, so that's why. Um, I got a little bit of the yeast in there, but not too much. Um, but yeah, it looks kind of like a brown ale actually with a one finger uh, off white head. Let's take out the aroma. Okay, caramel malts is the first thing that shines through. Some some light grapefruit and uh, some pine. The most dominant hoppy aroma in here I find is pine and maybe some floral and herbal notes. Lots of toffee in there too. Yeah, the caramel. Not really a big overpowering aroma, but it's an everyday kind of beer in 4.6. Yeah, rather malty smelling with some of that American hop uh, character. It smells fairly nice, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Very malty bitter. Um, <laughs> I, I actually don't think the, the Centennial and Cascade shine through it all really in the flavor, um, to be honest. It's rather well hidden. And the mouthfeel is kind of watery too. Roma indicated something else. This is definitely like your traditional British session ale, for sure. A lot of sweet caramel maltiness, a toffee notes. Light brittiness. There's a light grassy hop, light pine in there. Wow, it's rather water watery actually. I wouldn't say it's bland, but it's very, very mild. Um, it's not bad, but it's not really anything that's... I mean, this is not anything I would pick up. Uh, you can get much better session beers than this. This is actually quite disappointing, because so far the Dugas BS has been pretty solid. Light citrus. In there too. The grapefruit is really in, only in the aroma. Yeah. That's basically it, guys. That was a pretty disappointing beer from Dugas. 
especially compared to what I had previously from them. Yeah, rating wise for the Dugas, Johannes Besta. I'm actually only going to give this a 55. Um, I think it's so boring, to be honest. <laughs> there isn't much flavor going on in this beer. Um, this is very, very traditional English. I mean, you can barely taste the American hops in here. Um, it definitely follows the English tradition. It's okay. I mean, at 55, it's slightly above average, but it's not anything I would pick up, to be honest. But still, thanks a lot for the beer, Johan. This was just kind of not really uh, to my taste. But um, yeah, guys, a 55 for the Dukas Johannes Besta. An okay beer, uh, above, slightly above average, worth picking up if you like uh, the traditional British bitter that you get in a pub. It's kind of not to be like not to be frowning upon any of the British beers because there's really good British beers out there too. But it's kind of just like an ordinary British bitter with not much going on, especially considering that there's American hops in here. So yeah, fifty five. Guys, let me know what you think about the. Uh, Dugas Johannes Pesta, if you've had it, <coughs> I'm certainly not that impressed by it. So yeah guys, that is, for, that is it for this peer review. Remember to uh, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'm going to say cheers. And I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.